as my subsequent slides will elucidate anemia exhibits a series of intriguing and logically coherent clinical characteristics i will provide a comprehensive discussion of these features in detail mild cases are usually asymptomatic or they have non specific symptoms like fatigue lethargy restless leg syndrome anorexia dyspnea etc hair loss is a symptom of iron deficiency some patients may get depressed and rarely some of them may also have suicidal tendencies severe cases have symptoms like breathlessness palpitations on slight exertion edema of feet face or generalized edema which is called as anasarca and anginal pain paresthesias headaches burning sensation of tongue are considered as symptoms of tissue iron deficiency do you know which symptom is exclusive to iron deficiency anemia it is pica which is persistent compulsive craving for non food items like clay which is called geophagia starch which is called as amylophagia or ice which is called as pagophagia some other examples of pica are chalk burnt match heads cigarette butts glue hair soap toothpaste etc in other words they like eating delicious dirt pica is a symptom seen only in iron deficiency anemia the symptom pica is named after a long tail bird called pica axa commonly called the magpie that will eat almost anything eggs small mammal and any scrap material the bird sounds like a repetitive chatter pica is a latin word for a bird allow me to elaborate on some of the peculiar symptoms and signs associated with anemia pica as discussed in the preceding slide is one such symptom other equally unusual manifestations include depilation of the tongue medically referred to as atrophic glossitis mees lines which are horizontal lines that appear on the fingernails onychorhexis longitudinal ridges that develop on the nails onychoschisia which is nail splitting and peeling beeturia patients experience red urine after consuming beets restless leg syndrome is characterized by alterations in the iron and dopamine activity within the brain the substantia nigra and thalamus are also reported to have decreased iron levels in this syndrome which has other causes too on general examination the hallmark of iron deficiency anemia is pallor of varying degrees it can be observed in the conjunctiva tongue nails and more notably for obstetricians and gynecologists vaginal mucosa other signs include glossitis that is smooth red tongue angular stomatitis chelitis that is inflammation of lips platinicaea or coelonychia fragile brittle nails with longitudinal ridges edema of the legs and brittle hair these signs indicate chronic anemia which has persisted for 2 to 3 years a soft systolic flow murmur may be heard in the mitral area this murmur occurs due to the decreased viscosity of the blood which causes turbulence when it flows through the valves resulting in murmuring sound an interesting question posed to students presenting a case of anemia during pregnancy in obstetrics postgraduate viva examination is how would you identify pallor in a north indian pregnant woman who has applied lipstick painted her nails with nail polish applied full mehndi on both hands and is eating pan answer conduct a pulse speculum examination to assess the pallor of the vaginal mucosa just as pica is a symptom exclusive to iron deficiency anemia which sign is exclusive to iron deficiency anemia platinicaea or coelonychia is the only sign that is unique to anemia due to iron deficiency 
clinical features that result as a complication of severe anemia are icterus. Icterus can be a sign of severe hemolytic anemia leading to a buildup of bilirubin in the blood which manifests as yellowing of the skin and eyes. Retinal hemorrhage. A retinal hemorrhage can be a sign of anemia as low red blood cell count due to severe anemia causes reduced oxygen supply to the retina causing damage to blood vessels and resulting in bleeding within the eye known as retinal hemorrhage. This is often referred to as anemic retinopathy. Retinal hemorrhage is much more likely to occur when anemia is accompanied by thrombocytopenia than when either is present alone. Another complication of severe anemia is congestive cardiac failure where patient will present with dyspnea and crepitations in lung bases. Hepatosplenomegaly can be a feature of severe anemia as the body attempts to compensate for the low red blood cell count by producing more blood cells in these organs through a process called extramedullary hematopoiesis. Plummer-Vinson syndrome, PVS, also known as Peterson-Brown-Kelly syndrome, is a rare disorder characterized by a triad of symptoms, iron deficiency anemia, dysphagia, and esophageal webs. It primarily affects middle-aged women. The exact cause of Plummer-Vinson syndrome is not well understood. However, it is often associated with chronic iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency can lead to structural changes in epithelial cells, thus causing the formation of thin mucosal webs that obstruct the esophagus. It is a pre-malignant condition. If left untreated, Plummer-Vinson syndrome can lead to complications such as esophageal carcinoma. Iron supplementation usually results in symptom resolution and a reduction in cancer risk. Some cases with severe dysphagia may require esophageal dilatation. Iron has a special relationship with heart and kidneys. Iron is required for myoglobin. As far as kidneys go, it produces a substance called erythropoietin EPO that stimulates erythropoiesis. Severe iron deficiency can lead to cardiac failure, which in turn affects blood supply to kidneys, which eventually fail. Subsequently, erythropoietin is not produced, leading to further anemia. It is a vicious circle. Thus, there is a correlation between iron deficiency anemia, chronic heart failure and chronic renal failure. It is a vicious circle of destruction referred to as cardiorenal anemia syndrome. When studying any medical disorder that complicates pregnancy, it is crucial to comprehend the interplay between the condition and pregnancy. I will first focus on effect of moderate to severe anemia on pregnancy and labor. Maternal complications associated with a patient suffering from moderate to severe anemia during pregnancy are spontaneous miscarriage, preterm labor, pregnancy-induced hypertension, intrauterine growth restriction, congestive heart failure, and intercurrent infection. Complications that may occur in a patient with moderate to severe anemia in labor would be uterine inertia, congestive heart failure, and postpartum hemorrhage. Complications that can occur in the immediate postpartum period are puerperal sepsis and poor lactation. Fetal complications associated with a pregnant woman with severe anemia are prematurity, low birth weight, small for gestational age baby, neonatal anemia, and stillbirth. Folate deficiency may be responsible for neural tube defects. Severe anemia in early pregnancy increases the risk of congenital heart disease in the child. There is overall increased fetal morbidity and mortality. Remember, fetal brain development is very much dependent on the iron available to it during period of organogenesis. There are reports of infants of mothers with severe iron deficiency anemia developing cognitive defects, schizophrenia, and decreased auditory recognition. What are the effects of pregnancy on anemia? During pregnancy, the body undergoes significant physiological changes to support the developing fetus. 
One of these changes is the expansion of plasma volume, which increases by about 50% by the 32nd week of gestation. In contrast, the red blood cell mass increases by approximately 25 to 30 percent. This disparity results in physiological anemia of pregnancy marked by a relative decrease in hemoglobin concentration. Physiological anemia is often referred to as dilutional or pseudo anemia. It is characterized by a mild drop in hemoglobin and hematocrit levels primarily emerging in the second trimester of pregnancy. This is the reason why we always repeat hemoglobin of a pregnant woman at 28 to 32 weeks even if it is normal earlier. Pregnancy worsens pre-existing anemia because of increased demand of iron. Insufficient supplementation can exacerbate pre-existing anemia or lead to iron deficiency anemia. At this juncture, I would like to draw your attention to an aspect of iron deficiency anemia during pregnancy that is often overlooked. Peripartum iron deficiency anemia. If I were to pose a question to you, which is more prevalent, antepartum anemia or postpartum anemia? The most common response would be antepartum anemia. However, empirical evidence suggests the opposite. Postpartum anemia affects approximately 80% of women residing in low-income and rural communities of developing countries, including India while it impacts 50% of women in Europe and United States. Postpartum anemia is a common condition that is associated with various comorbidities affecting both the physical and mental well-being of the mother after childbirth. It is linked to postpartum depression, fatigue, impaired cognition and altered mother-infant bonding. The efficacy of iron supplementation in the treatment of postpartum anemia has been demonstrated necessitating mandatory iron supplementation. Previously, it was recommended that iron supplementation should be provided to puerperal women who had experienced iron deficiency anemia for six weeks after delivery. However, the current recommendation stipulates that iron supplementation should be administered for a period of three to six months to fully replenish iron stores. This is based on most guidelines which recommend monitoring hemoglobin levels and adjusting the duration of supplementation as needed. It is important to remember that clinical features of anemia can vary greatly depending on various factors. The severity of anemia. Mild anemia might have few or no noticeable symptoms. How quickly anemia develops? Anemia that develops slowly allows the body time to adapt, so symptoms might be less pronounced initially compared to rapid onset anemia, for example, that from acute blood loss. The underlying cause of the anemia. Some types of anemia have characteristic features, for example, iron deficiency anemia. The age and overall health of the person. Someone with underlying heart or lung disease may experience symptoms most severely or earlier. There is one more aspect of clinical features that I want to bring to your notice. When anemia signs are discussed in general medicine, they talk about how they can predict the hemoglobin levels of a person by merely looking at the palms of the patient, especially the palm creases. How they can predict this is beyond me, but I feel trying to do this is superfluous because hemoglobin estimation is a simple, cheap and easily available investigation and it is essential for diagnosis of anemia. One more thing, when students present cases of anemia during pregnancy, enumerating all the classical symptoms and signs and conclude the diagnosis of the case as this is Gravida 3 Para 2 Abortion 0, 28 weeks pregnant patient with anemia. According to me, this is wrong diagnosis. Anemia by definition is based on the patient's hemoglobin level. That is, it is a diagnosis based on an investigation which the student does not know as yet because during practical examination, patient's reports are not available to the student. So what should the student say? The diagnosis of such a woman 
should be mentioned in the examination as gravida 3 para 2 abortion 0 28 weeks pregnant patient with clinical impression of anemia emphasize the word clinical impression because they don't know the actual hemoglobin level if you want to know more about this topic or any other topic in obstetrics and gynecology please refer to my books modern gynecology modern obstetrics and practical obstetrics and gynecology and other books for purchase inquiries contact me on this whatsapp number i have also published two question answer books which are particularly useful for exam going students these are clinical cases in obstetrics thousand plus questions and answers and clinical cases in gynecology thousand plus questions and answers you can also follow me on other social media platforms like facebook or meta blogspot and instagram the links are given here if you enjoyed this video hit the like button share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you for watching